So sorry for the delay, audience. Uh, we had some connectivity issues. Uh, thanks, Jitesh, for joining in. Uh, so audience, uh, Jitesh Mowgli is a holistic uh, fitness and wellness coach. He is also a transformation specialist, human excellence coach. Uh, he was a former corporate uh, professional who turned his uh, passion into uh, well-being coach. Uh, he holds a lot of uh, experience in transforming people into human beings using the 360 degree inside uh, out approach. He is also a motivator, mentor, he's a writer, he uh, does a lot of webinars for uh, you know schools and colleges uh, and he holds a master's degree in uh, human resources. So welcome Mowgli. Uh, Mowgli or <laughs> uh, can I call you Mowgli? I mean because that's that. <laughs> You, you're free yeah. to call me Mr. Mowgli. <laughs> but I'm also known that way, but people uh, connect that name with uh, the Jungle Book Mowgli. Yeah, that, that's one of the things I wanted to ask. You know, I think that's one of the reasons you wanted to uh, highlight your name. A lot, a lot of people are not very uh, comfortable sharing their uh, surnames because they're, they're very this thing. But I'm sure you've chosen to highlight your uh, last name because it is it has got a relevance. So, yeah, over to you, uh, Jitesh, a uh, quick introduction about you uh, before we start the rapid fire question. Sure. Uh, thank you, Ravi, and uh, thank you to the work platform. Uh, I love the name work, and uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be live uh, with, with the audience and uh, through this uh, initiative during the lockdown times. Well, uh, I am Jitesh Mowgli. I take pride in using my surname because that uh, resonates to what I love to do, um, be it with the, the animated connective with Eve that we had with Jungle Book. But mm -hmm. that's how uh, I've, I've uh, reflected myself with nature. Because if you reflect Mowgli in those days of that animated series, uh, the Jungle Book Mowgli was very, very active. He was very fit strong mm -hmm. through the jungle and was uh, in complete connectivity with nature and animals. So I love to be connected like that. And that's what uh, I like to preach as part of my trainings. And hence, I take pride in my surname. So mm -hmm. well, for, uh, friends, uh, I'm from Hyderabad, born and brought up here. I, uh, I did master's in HR from Pondicherry University from an academic point of view. And then I went on to work from a, from a very early age, uh, late teens, I started working in part times and full time roles, and then moved into corporate roles. So from 1999 up to 2015, I was thickly involved with corporate pro uh, roles. I was a real estate and workspace experienced person. I was instrumental in building a lot of real estate and interior designing spaces for Microsoft, Deloitte, Novartis, HSBC, to name a few. While I was with, with this role in the corporates, I took keen interest in fitness and wellness activities of various other organizations. So that enabled corporates also to get a sneak peek on my passion and what they felt was my actual calling. So mm -hmm. a couple of my couple of my managers and bosses, in fact, gave me a, a very constructive feedback that, uh, you know, this is something which, which we see very, uh, overwhelming coming out of you and I why don't you why don't you give it a thought to frame it into a, a natural course of journey for you to live the life that you want to so that trickled that that started to tickle my my brain to do something in this area so that's how uh, the natural formation to move into my passion came through right and not only that uh, ever since I was a child I was uh, heavily into sports, all kinds of physical sports, not static sports. So I love to play all kinds of outdoor games, which involves physicality and mobility because human body has been designed to move. And a lot of individuals uh, kind of get disconnected or find it unrealistic, but that is the fact. If you reflect to our, uh, uh, the early man, the early man was uh, very much part of the planet and was part of thick natural terrains in the jungles. And the man was walking, running, jumping, swimming, climbing for survival. 
and hence it is all the more needed for the human body to move and that is how almighty has designed this body to perform the most complex and simple movements in among all the living species human body is the most adapted and most uh, uh, dynamic structure which can get into all forms of movements which other species may not be able to do and we have the most powerful as uh, the most powerful uh, asset in us is the intelligence through our intelligence we can form and create different forms of movement and that is how we have uh, many many expert sportsmen and fitness enthusiasts who have performed amazing amount of uh, movements be it in all forms be it gymnastics swimming to all kind of sporting activities human beings have excelled in in the, in the movement so to the general population i would want to communicate that please use your body to the best extent and i'm sure the body will give you the amazing amount of results and that is how you will form a more stable stronger fitter human body so right. coming back to coming back to my journey uh, having worked with these beautiful organizations i had an amazing time with uh, with my corporate uh, role i had i had the opportunity to work under the best leaders and i could say that uh, today if i am able to live the life that i want to i would give a bit of credit to their their advisors and grooming and they found that spark in me and felt they should share their uh, you know the, the guidance to me and then uh, i took it up more seriously from there and while i was working out in the gyms and different fitness centers people watched me very keenly as to how i work out there is Uh, a natural flow and rhythm in the way i work out which attracts people to come and ask questions comments and then they start seeking advices from me and i naturally love helping people because i am a very people person i am an extrovert i love to rhythmically melodiously fall and flow with people uh, in in what they want to do and if i am able to add value to their to their ask that makes me immensely happy so that is where the coaching and mentoring idea started helping people advising in a right way and when i started teaching guiding people on exercises uh, the technicality physicality the science behind exercises and how human body will adapt to different forms of movements how you can uh, get the best for aesthetic formations on your body made those people give me advice that i should chuck my corporate job and get into my passion and that is that is a kick that is a kick which put me to this track and from 2008 i started feeling some form of calling and i felt this is a divine calling i need to hear it out so back in 2009 when we had a recession across the world mm -hmm. so i was uh, i was laid off by one of, one of my organizations as part of the cost cutting mechanism and that is when i invested my time in in coaching in mentoring i felt why don't i try test the waters in this area and how i can improvise and excel in this in this platform so apollo hospital has been very very helpful in giving me this opportunity on a first note i was interviewed on a first note and they quickly read my passion and they 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 asked me to join as a fitness consultant at their uh, jubilee hills location and yeah. that opportunity gave me beautiful a wide view angle of reaching out to different clients so i started training doctors patients physios celebrities and general population including special needs cases too so right from child children to old age people so that was a beautiful experience which gave me a full throttle view of different clientele different body structures and people from different backgrounds and that is what has given me immense confidence into moving into this area and take it up as my profession so 2015 i i decided now this is my calling i need to get into it uh, with with substantial amount of involvement so mm -hmm. i quit my job and moved into this uh, role in 2015 uh, i transformed into a multi fitness coach 
And that is how I started uh, identifying myself with people and then coaching on a one-to-one -one basis because I'm a, a passionate and a specialist in one-to-one -one transformation coaching. And then eventually I felt from one-to-one, -one I need to evolve into furthermore uh, level of connectivity with people. And that is when I started training people on a community note. So when I say community, it is about group coaching mm -hmm. and, and corporate coaching. So not only physicality, I felt there is immense amount of improvement and excel excellence that can be brought in from inside of the body. So that is when I felt it is more important for people to change, transform within first to see a change outside. So in the, in the general population, we see most of the people taking more interest on the external changes because that, that kind of resonates to a quick appreciation or an attention seeking form, but that's temporary. That's short lived. So I would recommend that we all need to change and transform within to see mo much more change externally. And that is when I took a call to do a 360 degree format of training, which involves mind, body, emotions, your thought process, uh, relationships, spirituality, connectivity with your energy levels, and then time. So all this form a 360 degree aspect. And that is how I have evolved into a 360 degree holistic fitness, wellness transformation specialist and human excellence. Now people ask me what is excellence? So what is human excellence? It's the, it's the, it's the constant journey, constant pursuit to get better in life every day. Every, every human being, every living organism should try to chase some improvising format, some improvising process and system. The way we look at in professional life in, in our corporate organizations, uh, you've seen how organizations look at transforming a product from one level to another, upgrading their automobiles to one level to another level. The same upgradation happens in all forms of entrepreneurial works. It could be in coaching works. It could be in the product specialization works, IT software, upgradations. Similarly, human beings are supposed to upgrade every day. We need to get better from yesterday. And that is how we become excellent in our in our line of work. So there can be an excellence in every little thing, be it the way you eat, the way you cook, the way you get ready, the way you exercise, the way you drive, the way you watch, the way you click pictures. It can be connected to every goddamn subject. And you can you can chase excellence and create a remarkable difference in the way you perform, the way you showcase and display things. And that is how I felt human excellence is a beautiful subject, which I naturally connect with. And I thought I should, I should preach and coach people. I still learn for myself. So I always believe in a student and a teacher relation. There is a student and a teacher in every human being. And I emphasize that we should keep these two identities always alive till the time we are we are existing on this planet. Student to learn as much as we can with everybody, be it younger or older, and a teacher to train people in the best that you know, so that you can share and leverage your knowledge to, to the community. And I live with one funda that is to add value to this planet until you exist on this planet so that this planet blesses you for the life that it has given you. And it's a personal responsibility. All we all have as human beings to do our best for this planet. So that's about me on a personal side. Uh, I'm married. My wife uh, is a beautiful singer and a great cook. And she's a professional HR professional working for uh, a famous chocolate company called Mars. So she's into a lot of uh, unfitness food and I'm into completely opposite uh, profession but yes uh, she's been loving her job she's been there for the last 13 years and currently she uh, handles the europe and middle east market as part of her functional hr i have two beautiful daughters uh, one is eight another uh, the younger one is three uh, mm -hmm. we have named them nitya and adya beautiful kids They're very artistic and creative and of course very fitness oriented at a very early age. I can see this fitness spark. So I'm assuming they're going to be the upcoming uh, world's future coach. 
<laughs> that that's nice uh, nice to you uh, nice to know you jitesh uh, you know both professionally your thought process and also about your family so shall we quickly get into the game please i look forward so are are you still maintaining uh, fitness you know during every this time, long every time till my last breath on this planet <laughs> so there were a couple of friends so i i posted this on my facebook along with you know just not the creative but some of your photographs so i i you still fit the same way so i have a couple of friends uh, who asked me uh, would jitesh be able to show his biceps uh, while you know on the call so but you know they cannot comment for various reasons so can you please show your biceps and show your muscles so that you know <laughs> they they are happy certainly i'm maintaining my form uh, ever since the lockdown started because it's important for me as a fitness coach to be an example for people and i still coach even now online i've converted mm -hmm. most of my coachings into online format so it's important for all of us to maintain and yes as a coach it's all the more important to be an example but uh, ever since the lockdown started the accessibility to train on different machines which i used to get earlier in the gyms and different fitness uh, centers and thankfully as a as a coach i have amazing amount of network in hyderabad and people love to invite me to their gyms to test their equipment and give feedback uh, but in the in this lockdown days uh, i don't have the accessibility to those nice machines but i'm still managing with some home based workouts and my social media handles uh, propagate and display a lot of uh, home based uh, fitness which are very simple i request people to take a look at it and start following in whatever means that they can at home but yes i'm i'm staying in a reasonable form so my my arms are reasonably doing good <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so you have couple of uh, more followers that you have uh, gained after this so that's awesome <laughs> thank you thank you so i am uh, trying to take it as a challenge during lockdown days and show mm -hmm. people that uh, you can still perform you can still transform being at home so i have taken up a personal challenge to transform myself further and create a more rock solid body uh, more aesthetically defined and uh, you know set up a photo shoot for me to display to people that this is a lockdown transformation great so you don't uh, need sorry go you ahead you don't need fitness fitness centers or gymnasiums to to transform so what i'm trying to tell the big message is that you don't need excuses excuses are always a plenty you either can make lot of excuses to work out train and get better or always form excuses to get rid of it so you can always have positive and negative ex excuses depending on what you want to do so i have given excuses to work out i make excuses at home to train in different ways i also slip out uh, i look at certain deserted deserted places where i can do some outdoor athletic training ground based trainings so i am giving excuses to train excuses to work out so it's i would advise people to make excuses for seeking positive things that you love to do it's that's my passion that's how you all should excel in your own performance and passion go ahead ravi Super. So, what what is the worst thing that happened, or the embarrassing thing that happened in a gym while you were working out, either with you or any of your any of the members? I think the only embarrassing moment that uh, I have seen or as I've come across is, uh, you know, uh, there's one individual uh, who used to train with us. Uh, I was not uh, personally training him, but he was frequently seeking my advices unfortunately his body uh, you know emits a lot of uh, body odor right a lot of body odor and uh, the moment he gets into the gym or steps into the gym people kind of get uh, uh, very uncomfortable and they start following physical distancing <laughs> physical distancing much much before covid i'm talking about non covid time uh, that uh, used to make me feel bad feel bad about uh, uh, you know how people react or respond to such such, such a situation in fact i've also seen people slipping out of the gym the moment that person enters in 
so uh, that that was a kind of an awkward moment for somebody to watch and feel uh, so what i did is uh, i had a very friendly chat with him and advised him as to what he can do from a personal grooming standpoint to uh, at least feel uh, better for himself and then you know how he can uh, get rid of his body odor so that when he's in such public places he doesn't have to feel so embarrassed or you know go through such situations so that's that's something which i remember on my mind otherwise uh, haven't seen any such awkward moments in the gym so uh, jitesh talking about uh, uh, you know the same situation you know a lot of people are getting away from uh, deodorants and you know people have come to know about the side effects or the long term side effects that uh, this creates so what are you game for uh, deos or uh, do you think that perfumes are better than uh, deos i would always encourage perfumes especially something which is more connected to ayurvedic uh, mm -hmm. uh, format something which is more uh, from the forest mm -hmm. uh, or, or you can say forest essentials i love that brand okay. uh, anything which is more natural from a herbs oriented background uh, i'm sure from a ayurvedic standpoint we have beautiful fragrances uh, that can still be utilized as perfumes uh but perfumes are always uh, the go to thing which i would advise people then uh, deos deos are uh, very temporary and it may create a lot of skin infection and itching feeling especially when you're working out so that mm. interferes with the sweat and it it is not advisable for people to apply deos frequently while you're working out in fact uh, on the contrary i would pe advise people to take bath before workouts i advise people to have a quick shower and then step into the gym for workout because your performance of the body will be amazing when you work out because when you have a shower the body is in an alert state especially cold water hmm the body is in a dynamically alert state and it is ready to get into action perform so i would advise people to try this out for a week or so you see the way you perform and you will feel more fresh and at least get rid of uh, any odor that you you may be doubtful about passing it to people it's always a good habit to personally be more hygienic and clean uh, especially when you're in public places and this is what i follow i always take a quick shower and get into the gym so that I, my performance is excellent at the same time i'm presenting to people in the best way who's the fittest celebrity uh, in bollywood I thought you would ask me Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can go with, start with Hollywood and then come to Bollywood. I'm a big I'm a big follower of Hollywood. Uh, in fact, uh, if you were to ask me uh, what if what if it's not fitness, what would have you done, or what is your uh, you know uh, fantasy? Yeah, yeah, we're I, there. I, there. <laughs> <laughs> I I love to be a Hollywood actor. I love acting. I love a mm -hmm. lot of Hollywood movies. I associate myself. uh in living those roles but uh, i don't know opportunity didn't strike or probably i didn't try too hard in getting into acting but i always look forward to see that as another uh, future passion that may come up if if if, if i come across uh, someone helping me with an opportunity in films i would love to act uh, that's that's another passion that i would like to look forward for uh in hollywood see i have inspiring idols in all all streams of life so mm -hmm. if you were to ask me who is your favorite uh, cricketer i have someone cricket favorite swimmer i have someone so in every uh, you know in every activity i have an idol so when it comes to acting the most fittest person that i have ever come across is of course my all time motivation idol arnold schwarzenegger so that is how i have taken up i have taken up my passions very seriously i owe a lot today uh, in whatever i have achieved there's a long way to go for me but in whatever way that i have achieved on my own in this domain is because of him had i not watched him his, his movies back in those school days i wouldn't have even got an idea that human body can be made like this and i followed all his movies so that so he's he's one of my uh, very inspiring idols and then silvers stallone 
and of course in the contemporary world uh, i connect a lot with dwayne johnson an amazing artist is a great actor great speaker motivationally and a superb artist he is one of the most high performing highly paid stars today because of his acting zeal if you if you notice uh, people in hollywood or most of the movie industries who have strong bodies they are not great actors right okay. but dwayne johnson is one individual who's transformed not only as a sports person as an athlete as a bodybuilder but also a fine actor and hence that is showing in his performances and the kind of uh, movies that he's signing up so i align a lot to him and yeah. can he's you all in look can you do this laundry look of uh, wayne johnson come again he does this smoldering look he's got a look wayne johnson can I, you do that? <laughs> i don't think so i will try but uh, you know he's got that uh, single eyebrow raise look right. which 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 is something which i i won't be able to but yeah probably i'll try and do something yeah <laughs> closer yeah <laughs> <laughs> so who's the uh, you know what about bollywood if not come to bollywood yet who is the fit and uh, Rithik Roshan for sure for love is dance amazing uh, rhythmic body he has and he's been maintaining that body for a very long time if you if you notice i'm sure uh, yeah. we connect very well for the, for our times from the time he started exercising and showcasing how rhythmic a body can be uh, from the salman khan days okay i'm talking about the days when salman khan introduced fitness to bollywood it turned out to be more beefed up look more muscled big size and rithik roshan changed that that scenario altogether he he has showcased to the world that at least to the indian world that uh, bodies can be like this too the more agile more fitter rhythmic melodious and can swing into a, all forms of activities so uh, i love his body and uh, i think he's one of the fittest bollywood actors and of course one of the most handsome looking guy even now So it's Rithik Roshan all the way. So, how many phones have you lost? So I'm thinking when when did India start started having mobile phones? So uh, I think uh, my memory says probably from 2000. I think 2006 or seven I started having phone six mm-hmm. I guess or let's say five. So. From 2005 until now, 15 years, right? So I think on an average, I lost 15 phones every year. One phone. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, yeah, please go ahead. Please finish that. So, so uh, the reason, uh, uh, one of one of the weakness I would say that I am still working is I have a forgetful attitude. Uh, that's because when I get into something, I kind of flow into it. so right now when i'm talking to you i'm sure you're seeing the passion of how i'm how i'm trying to get into my conversation and explain uh, my journey that's coming out of my passion so due to this i sometimes tend to forget as w- what is beside me or or sometimes my personal belongings that i'm supposed to be very careful about so that way i've lost phones just because i forgot them so either i misplaced them or forgot and somebody what uh, shoplift so we have the right question for you so <laughs> so next question from the audience uh, uh, this is pratima uh, yelamanchili so she is going to pratima is, uh, does a thin person like me can gain weight and muscles using gym or exercise so uh, pratima is very lean and uh, her question is uh, can she uh, still you know uh, can she gain weight by exercising or going to gym Pratima, first of all, uh, I would like to appreciate that you are lean, which is good because nowadays uh, people are craving to be lean. Okay, so we have a hardcore obesity problem across, and there are a lot of lot of people putting on weight mindlessly. Uh, so first of all, thank you, thank yourself, and pat yourself that you are lean. Probably it's your genes and DNA that is uh, that is that's probably uh, putting you into a leaner state. but yes if you are underweight i'm i'm sure your question is coming from this point that you are underweight 
so i certainly would advise you to get on to high calorie food uh, eat lot of fats good fats lot of good fats and eat high protein diet lot of carbs high carbs because you need weight you need volume you need calories so try and eat more than what you're eating now because what you eat is what you are so as long as i'm eating well my state of body will also appear in the same form i'm assuming you are probably deficient in your calorie consumption so try and get on to high fat food uh, high carbohydrate protein can still be moderate because people who want to put on weight they have to eat a lot of fats and carbs so that you have more energy inside you and then uh, try and cut down your physical activity to a moderate level in case if you are a very high performing high mobile person who is too much into physical activities probably you are draining all your energy there so too exhaustive physical activities will further drain you down and you become more leaner and leaner so cut down your activity in case if you are physically involved too much give more rest to yourself because rested bodies will start putting on weight have nice sleep cut down your stress levels assess yourself whether you are going through stress and also check your thyroid levels in case if you are on a uh on uh, there are two types of thyroid so hyper and hypo so if you are a hyper thyroid patient then you would be losing weight irrespective of how much you are eating so you will have to rectify that with a doctor in case if you are a hyper thyroid category if not you are better off eat lot of food take lot of rest listen to music and do moderate style of physical activities once you put on weight then you can start uh, getting into nice uh, fitness activities which will which will further tone you more and then uh, you can choose the way you want the kind of aesthetics that you look forward for so you can reach out to professionals like me who can guide you as to how you can aesthetic aesthetically transform further as i said human body can be transformed into different forms and each each transformation has its own meaning so somebody can transform like a rithik roshan body and somebody can be transformed into a dwayne johnson kind of a body or somebody can be transformed like a salman khan body the choice is has to how i what i want to become how i want to see myself and you can still reach those goals for that there is a systematic way of workout systematic way of eating and systematic way of lifestyle that you need to get into and that's what will take you there it's like exactly designing a cloth when you go to a designer he will he will stitch your cloth the cloth in the way that you want it it could be a loose fit or a tight fit when you ask the tailor how what kind of fitting i want the tailor will take the measurements and he will fit the the clothing exactly the way you want it similarly the body can also be tailored the way you want it so fix a goal for yourself and start training in those angles but for you i think i've answered the question to feed on to right diet eat as much as you can you are more fortunate in these times to eat a lot because otherwise uh, there is a dominant population who have been asked who have been asked to eat less because of their overweight problems enjoy food celebrate thank you pratima thank you jitesh for answering that so coming to the next question you know what 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 do you stack the most in your fridge you know being an athlete and you know uh, continuously working on your body what is that one thing which is always there on your fridge one thing for sure my fridge will be always full of eggs <laughs> i love protein food and i love eggs because the most easiest uh, food that you can always have you either can boil them or make it into an omelet and uh, i love i love flipping omelets on my pan uh, i have created my own style of omelets over a period of time in fact my children started to love the kind of eggs that i make for them so eggs are the by default food and besides eggs i have lot of uh, veggies like broccoli and uh, lots of fruits all high fibrous seasonal fruits too because i love eating more of natural food than uh, artificial foods okay so so eggs when, 
eggs veggies and fruits these are by default foods that i have when you go to a supermarket to shop or anywhere uh, you know when you're shopping you know you get those stares you know people staring at you staring at your muscles and i'm sure you would be uh, wearing something which would show your personality to others so how do you manage those stares how do you respond back to those stares i admire those stares in fact uh, it makes me feel good and uh, it also generates uh, a mutual positive feeling people who look at you for the way they for the way you look if they they would generally appreciate i mean every every body which looks great looks looks nice i mean we all love to do that uh, the same goes for women the same goes for a man so uh, obviously i would love to have more of uh, uh, the opposite sex attention which <laughs> which goes uh, uh, without saying but however every uh admiration is something i take it into my stride as a motivation mm -hmm. and i celebrate i celebrate such attention because i know the kind of hard work which has gone behind it and right. uh, it, it's not only about uh, the celebration for me but it is also about celebration for the person who's looking at you because i'm sure those people might get motivated looking at you there's there's some kind of motivation that you're creating i also want to have a body like this i would love to become like this wow why not i can uh, why why not i transform myself like this way so you start to get ideas within you you start to introspect how am i looking why not i become like this he's also uh, a human being and i'm sure he has put in enough amount of work to become like that so it's a mutual motivation such looks gives me mutual motivation and mutual admiration too what, what is I the best compliment, best compliment you've received sure by text or you know in person or your your fans from yeah so instagram or social media yeah. so the common compliment which i receive I, and i call it as the best compliment is is that uh, uh i am 42 now but people say i don't look 42 so uh, they they associate with me to the younger lord they think that i am unmarried they they take me as a natural bachelor or a single ton and then they treat me as a single ton which i enjoy <laughs> and later i kind of become very uh, you know very honest about uh, my my state my status and uh, it it brings me a lot of pleasure to also tell my age uh, and that of course raises certain eyebrows in in, in them to express uh, surprise that you are uh, a family of two children and 42 so i say it's all uh, thanks to my hard work and the amount of uh, uh, you know the focus that i've given for myself to excel and there's lots to do there's lots to do i'm still in the journey to evolve further but yes it always makes me feel good as a as a youngster physically mentally and emotionally live that young live young shows in this particular screen with two people uh, by the way uh, jitesh i'm younger to you <laughs> <laughs> I'm one year younger to you, and it shows in this particular screen on how much you're focused. Not not only about your muscle, but uh, your your overall well-being, because it shows that you know you you have focus. So uh, I think the decision what you've taken, uh, you know, ten years back or 2018 to quit corporate life and you know work on yourself, that's really paying off. That's one of the reason uh, you're, you're like this. So, so what is that one? Mean Uh, yeah, yeah connect, to connect that point ravi i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, i love your honesty of uh, you know calling out your age and also the the differentiation but uh, uh, you look great you're pretty handsome with your beard and uh, uh, the bald head that, that, suits, that really suits you uh, so what what i'm trying to connect with you is that i was similarly like you a uh, few days back so for almost a year i had thick beard Uh, mm -hmm. if you look at my older pictures uh, i had lot beard i wanted to have a a style of uh, a rugged look mm -hmm. uh, and people started to connect and identify me as a as a guy with that rugged rough look on on his face right. Right. recently i was getting bored looking at myself every day in the lockdown times and the beard has been going uh, you know haywire here and there 
and I told myself, okay, I'm going to shave, call it a lockdown new look. So I shaved. Uh, I think I shaved a, a week back and my daughter was completely shocked. My younger daughter never saw me shave. So she was completely sh shocked and she started to see me as a stranger, somebody who is who's new to the family, who's entered somebody uh, as a stranger. So she started to ask my wife, who is this guy? I mean, uh, daddy looks uh, different. Is somebody new? Who is he? So she took a couple of days to connect. So uh, that that that's the point which I'm trying to reflect is that uh, fitness appreciates your age. It doesn't appreciate you. Folks, whoever is listening to this, this session, fitness appreciates your body. It doesn't depreciate. Otherwise, your body depreciates like an automobile. Please listen to this. I'm sure you would be able to connect with all your film stars and uh, your inspiring idols who all look younger. That's, that's because they work on their bodies. I do agree that for the kind of roles that they play, they are paid for it. But uh, irrespective of that, they still train and training is hard. To maintain is hard. Everybody loves to take it easy, but they don't do it. So similarly, sports personalities are also on the same run. They, they train so hard to look like that and they age by the number, but they are not by, by the physical description and also from mental description. So I advise you all to take up some form of activity to train on your bodies to look more younger. Yeah. Don't depreciate and kick the number aside. The more you grow, think that you're growing more younger and younger every day. And more importantly, internally, I would want you all to feel more younger. You know, mentally feel like you're a kid. And that is what makes me feel very fascinating about myself that I feel like a kid every day. I love to do all those, you know, naughty activities, uh, be it at home or outside uh, with, with my friends. I play around different sports and I like to pull people leg, you know, make some jokes with them, la laugh as much as I can, listen to music, whatever that makes you happy, celebrate, please do it. This is the, I mean, every day is such an opportunity, be it during COVID times or non-COVID times. Don't take COVID times as the only opportunity for you to excel. That is not the case. We all supposed to exercise irrespective of whatever the situation is, because we all have a self responsibility for our body. We live in this body. This is a vessel and you are living in that vessel. And it is a responsibility of every human being to ensure that they take care of this vessel. Right. When, when it comes to animals, animals, don't have to bother about their bodies because they are on a survival instinct every day. Their bodies are tested every day because they are on constant prey. Either they hunt or they are being hunted by others. So every moment is being tested and they live in such rough terrains, unexpected terrains, uncertain climatic conditions. And their bodies are tested on an everyday basis, moment to moment. So they are more fitter than human beings. Because human beings use this over intelligence, this thing called over intelligence and have have discovered so many gadgets which has made their life more convenient and spoiled ourselves. So stop relaxing and start getting on action. That's what I would say. There's time for you to figure out what you love to do. Get yourself into action. Action makes progression. Remember, not the thought. Thought generates what you want to do, but the thought needs to be converted into action. Until the thought doesn't get into a conver conversion of an action, you will never ever progress in anything that you love to do. This is a theory that is that is uh, applied to all forms, be it fitness, non-fitness, academics, technology, science, anything. That is where the 360 ap approach that I bring in for people to connect yourself in a surrounded form, like a circle. Great. Jitesh, uh, so now we get on to the one minute CM. So you're the CM now, you've got a minute. What are the areas you would focus on? First and foremost, my favorite uh, uh, portion of change that I would love to see either in this country or the region that I'm given is to transform the region into a fit state. To be frank, uh, I love India, I love my country, but at the same time, when I compare 
uh, our country on a global format, we are one of the most weaker human bodies. We, 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 we haven't been performing great in Olympics. If you look at the history to mm -hmm. even get one gold medal, we struggle a lot with this kind of massive population, massive. On the contrary, if you to compare China, China from a population point of view, they're far ahead and they're always scoring in the top three in Olympics every time. Why? The question is that they are more active. They have taken activities at a very, very younger age. Their parents promote activity. The lifestyle revolves around a lot of physical activity, which includes cycling. Okay. Every their, their regular commutation happens on cycling. A lot of physical activity. That's why Chinese are more faster in producing different forms of products. So I, I, I as a CM, would love to transform my state into a fit state, promote a lot of sports, promote a lot of fitness oriented activities, create different opportunities for youth to take up uh, fitness as one of their important needs of lifestyle. And when you have a fit state, automatically everything will fall in place because when you are in a fit person, you will start thinking in a fitter, right, clean manner. And that's where my first uh, concentration will be. And the next would be to eradicate corruption because that's that's wrong. That's bad, unfair, and unethical. And uh, that's a state which has been bothering this country in a very, very deeper way. And we still don't see a big solution. So I would love to look into solution as to how we can transform people into non-corruptive individuals who can start uh, becoming more self-responsible and add more value to the community so that uh, they develop and let others also develop. So these are the two prime things that I would love to see. And once you can attend to these two, that is the health, the fitness of the of the region, then you will have lesser people falling sick, less hospitalization, and then old age people will also be more healthier. So that is taken care. So that means you have a lot of healthy people, not, and you have very rare diseased people. And if you have less corruption, that means there is more and more wealth created into the economy. And then health and wealth together will transform yeah. into a, a beautiful country, a country that can contribute internally and externally uh, for the globe. Perfect. This is what I would love to do. Perfect. Thanks, Jitesh. Uh, so fans, uh, anybody wants to uh, follow Jitesh, I, I will share his uh, social media links. Uh, you can follow him on Facebook, Instagram, and you know check out what he's doing at home and you know while he does outside. And you know you can also attend his workshops while he's going live. So thanks, Jitesh, for taking time out for one C one minute CM, and it was a pleasure having you here. And thanks for answering the questions uh, audience had. So thank you. I have one little statement before we conclude. I would rather say concluding statement as a message to the audience, mm -hmm. folks. Uh, we are all under tremendous stress, pressure during these times. This is a very uncertain time, but it's a phase of life. It is always a phase of life in every every uh, stream. And personally, before COVID times, we, we all had our own phases of life in our personal state. But this is a, a phase of life for the global community. That means everybody, every human being is going through this. So I would advise people don't get into fear. Fear is something which will bog you down. It will bring you a lot of stress. And once you are stressed, then not only physically, you will start emotionally and mentally go down. And that will create a personal virus within you, then actually the virus hitting you. Remember, you can become a virus for yourself if you are in a state of negativity, in a state of weak emotions and less physical activity, you yourself will become a virus for yourself. So don't bother about the external virus. If you have a strong body, your body will become immune to handle everything. Strong bodies are the bodies which work harder. They eat right food and they do all right things and they think clean and then build a beautiful relationship society across. And that is what makes them more happy, irrespective of whether it's a COVID time or a non-COVID time. 
so do not miss every opportunity to celebrate your life celebrate every moment because we don't know what is in store for tomorrow you are existing now enjoy it and i also tell this that we as human beings and every living organism in different species we as humans are one of the species among zillion species produced by almighty created by almighty so we have to understand this fact that we are on a tourist visa in, on this planet we are on a tourist visa on this planet when you are on a tourist or as a tourist when you go on a holiday how would your mood be you would be pepped up right you would be elated you want to enjoy the holiday and you will try to make the best use of the holiday in the best way so what would you do you will try organizing your time your ticketing your planning and then your budgets so that you go around to the different geographies to enjoy your time in the best way at the same time you become very responsible in uh, setting up your relationships with all the tourists that you come up, come come across you don't fight with them you you smile you be very nice with them you eat well and you take pictures you come with a joyous mood similarly you all we all have to live lead a life like a tourist because we are on a tourist visa the only difference between all of us is that the expiry date of the tourist visa differs from each other the only expiry date changes the otherwise the visa is same for everybody irrespective of whatever positions they are in on this planet every living organism has to expire on some day so which is inevitable so i would want you all to relate that whether it is corona virus or anything if your expiry date comes in we are all exiting out of this planet but until we are on this planet i would all want you to celebrate like a tourist enjoy your life feel the best of this planet seek the best memories celebrate treasure them and have excellent relationship with people because we we can't afford to have enemies in our life we 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 can afford to have more and more friends so that we have more brighter cherishing memories all through our life so we have a responsibility for this planet contribute in whatever way for this planet for the way it has taken care of us so it's in a in a way this is a message given, being given by the planet for the human beings that it's time for you to buckle up and get your act in a right way and become more responsible to take care of this planet so that you can take care of yourself and the environment so that's the message folks so stay celebrated always stay happy stay safe and ensure that you are always healthy be bc or ac before or after corona you have to ensure that you always are working out until your last day on this planet celebrate take care live happy thank you ravi for the opportunity and thank you all the audience for being part of the show you can connect with me on jitesh mogli linkedin facebook and instagram i'm pretty active on social handles so you're always free to uh, get in connection i do personal one to one group trainings and corporate trainings online trainings so if you're keen on doing something on your transformation you're always free to get in touch with me i would love to celebrate my training with you take care thank you jitesh take care pleasure 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 thank you